I, I, the industry is, it's, it's an interesting right now. It's getting more and more crowded and differentiation is hard. We've run through a couple RFPs in the last couple months where the point spread on technical capabilities was minuscule. But then conversely, the point spread on the evaluations for usability, um, agent experience was massively swayed based on demos. So it's, it's very interesting how I think when I first looked at you guys where you were looking to make a differentiation on that agent experience. To me, mm -hmm. that's a huge thing. Rick, I mean, where, where do you, where, what's the philosophy for, for Sharpen on that agent experience and where well, you're trying to make that life easier? Yeah, it's interesting. I, I I haven't been here all that long. I just hit my first anniversary at Sharpen, and I, I got to tell you that um, one of the things that there are a couple things that brought me over to Sharpen. One one of which is that whole uh, agent for, uh, agent first mentality. If you were to walk around the floor when we used to have a floor and people were working in the office, <laughs> if you were to walk around the office and ask them who we were, uh, virtually everybody would say, "Hey, we're the agent first platform." And and what's neat about that is. Um, uh, the whole company has internalized the idea that anything that we build is is through the prism of making things uh, better and making the experience better for for the contact center agent and the management team. Um, it's had some really cool cool results. Well, uh, one of which is talking to our customers. You'll find that um, like uh, uh, one of the first trips I ever made, I went and, and chatted with somebody. Says, you know, hey, what do you think about um, Sharpen and how how it's been working for you? He says it's been great. Our attrition dropped. And I didn't think that was something you could uh, affect with with software, but he said, you know, all the frustration that we used to have with our old platform is gone because you guys build it for the contact center agent, which is really cool. And then the sure. second thing that I really liked about Sharpen was was whole data infrastructure that we have. We we have the ability to to surface information and reports and data in a much much easier way than than all <clears> the big guys. <throat> so it's 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 really kind of cool. Sure. Yeah. Um, I, I just wanted to add one quick thing in there too, just around an agent experience and really why that's so important to us is, is if you, if you just fundamentally take a step back and look at a contact center uh, and this is based on our own research and, and other analyst firms as well, but, but a contact center itself, uh, customer satisfaction is really what everybody's striving for, right? Uh, a happy customer equals a, a, as a return customer. And, and to today's day and age with all of the options out there, I mean, hell even in has right? You can go out there if you're not happy for one reason or another. You can go find a replacement just like that. So what we have found is that customer satisfaction has a direct correlation to agent satisfaction. Wherein, if you have a happy agent, you have a happy customer as a byproduct of that, and vice versa. If you have an agent who's frustrated by the tools that they're working with, they're frustrated because they can't do their job effectively. They don't feel empowered. All of those little basic things. Then as a byproduct of that, you've got unhappy customers, which is ultimately what leads to people leaving. And, and that's one of the primary things that contact centers are trying to do is increase customer experience, customer satisfaction. 